All right, I want to show you guys my new ESP32 cam that I picked up off of Amazon for a pretty good price. First of all, it's purple, so that's different. So I knew it's not going to be the same as my other one. And it's, this one's working way better. Let me show you the camera here. Okay, so here's the camera. That works great. Okay. Then let's go into Marauder. So we go into Marauder and hit scan. Uh, come on. Scan. Oh, there we go. Yep, so that works. And let's get out of here and try the Morse Flasher. All right, we'll try a quick message, SOS, and see how this goes. Holy crap, this new camera piece works so good that I'm actually able to demonstrate the, the um, what's this thing called? The SOS, the uh, um, the Morse code sender app for the uh, ESP32 cam. Wow, this is pretty dang cool. Doing SOS for me right now. So yeah, this is a way better camera than the other one that I had bought. So yeah. I'll leave a link in the description. But this is the Morse code app at work. It basically just, you know, you put in a message and it'll turn it into Morse code for you, which is pretty cool. Uh, I imagine that being uh, handy if you're, uh, you know, out somewhere and uh, need to send an SOS signal. Go along well with the uh, GPS thing on a trip or something. I don't know. Just stoked to finally see this thing working. All right, bye. The next on the list is the motion detector. Try that one out. Okay, when it does that, just do a little, hit the reset button, boom. Training, works right away, awesome. All right. Let's try the nanny cam. Come on. Okay, so now it's going. And the same thing with this one. Just hit the reset button. Oh, there we go. Now it's showing you what the password and IP is. I should be able to log into that and see what's on the nanny cam. Hmm. Let's give that a try right now, actually. Oh shoot, there it is. Okay, let me click and see what happens. All right, connect to that. That said the key was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's do that. And yes, sure, why not? And then it says to go to IP 192. Okay, so let's go over here in our browser, type 192.168.4.1. Looks like I've tried that before, huh? Uh, let's see what happens. Well, the nanny cam was a big letdown, so let's, uh, or I couldn't get it to work anyways, but that was the furthest I've ever gotten with it. I've never been able to even log on to it before, so this ESP32 cam is definitely getting me further, and you got to remember these are still pretty, pretty new apps. They haven't been around very long, haven't uh, been fine-tuned yet, so just the fact that they work at all is pretty good. And then let's try the QR code. I don't have any QR to 
codes to scan, but at least I don't think. I have one around here. Actually, I do have a little one. Uh, as part of the, uh, came with the cam documentation, actually. Let's see if I can pull this out with one hand. Here we go. Let's see if we can scan that little QR code on there if this thing ever boots up. Oh, okay, so hit the reset button to get it to boot. Ah, shit. So, you see that? We're running the QR code, but it's still giving us the nanny cam. Isn't that strange? I see that happen with these apps all the time. One app will accidentally pull up the other. It's really weird. Okay, so now it's doing the motion detector. <laughs> yes, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm showing it the QR code, but I don't think that's... Yes, this is all about movement. So, that's so strange. Right, let's try it again. So this is something really weird. Keeps switching back and forth between the um, motion detector, as you can see here. And I'll reset it. I'm not leaving the app. And it'll start up with the uh, nanny cam. See? Still on the same app. And actually, I'm in the QR Reader app, which is just bizarre. So it must actually be running off of the ESP32 rather than the flipper for this program, I guess. I don't, I don't know. But uh, this is interesting, I think. So, but anyways, uh, this is the most action I've ever been able to get out of a uh, ESP32 cam. So even though the uh, programs and uh, everything still need to be perfected on this. This is a much better performing. So that was my review of the Mayhem apps with a ESP32 cam. Um, stay tuned though, because I did just order myself a Mayhem multi-board today for $13 from Cyber Bros on Tindy. So as soon as that shows up, I'll get that thing all put together and Give that a uh, review and let you guys know how it goes. Okay, bye.